The great domain name investor debate, should you put your price on your domain name? Hey guys, Chris Zyker with Media Options. We help companies to and brands to acquire their raw, unfiltered version of their brand online, their .com domain name for the lowest possible cost today. And what I want to talk about today is, should you put a price on your domain name? Um, it's a very real thing that I see as I'm reaching out uh, for domain names, both on the acquisition side, on the sales side, on people coming to us looking to um, to broker and market their domain names is what is the price that uh, that you're going to sell it for. Uh, so very like like in, very common what happens in the scenario is that you're reaching out on a domain name and you give them a budget uh, with where your client's at, and they come back and say you know I'm not interested you know don't want to sell it. But they do want to sell it, okay? You can tell that they want to sell it, uh, but your offer is maybe too low, or maybe they're expecting a like an unrealistic amount for the domain name. But here's what happens, is that uh, a lot of times they end up missing the sale. And they miss the sale because they don't give a target for that company to come back with. Now I've seen and I've had instances where we have started off at $100,000 and gone up to like $600,000 on a domain acquisition. I've seen it where like you start off at 100, maybe it's 150. Maybe you start off at 125 and it's 125. <laughs> maybe it's 75. I don't know. There's different scenarios. Uh, but you don't know if a company is going to achieve the level that you want to sell your domain unless you put uh, a price out there. Now, if you think about this, uh, you think about this in very, a very normal circumstance. You, uh, you know, a board of directors, you're, you're a startup, you're a company, and you have, uh, they've allotted a certain amount for your domain name. And, you know, you reach out, and they come, you come, they come back and say, hey, the, they don't want to sell, right? They said, just take a hike. What are you going to do, right? I mean, are you expecting this startup to go back to their, their board of directors and say, hey, we need more money, we need more money, we need more, we need more money, right? If you really want to sell it, you have to give them a target that they can, they can then take back to their board, take back to their management and say, hey, we know we offered this, but they want this for the domain name. Uh, that's where the negotiation starts. That's where the magic starts. If they don't have something, like, very likely they're not going to keep going back to their board of directors. They're just going to give up. And what happens is that they might have been able to achieve that. I don't know. I mean, every circumstance is different. Every domain name is different. But you'll never know because you didn't put a price there. Um, I think there's different studies. And I think, I believe GoDaddy did something back at NamesCon last year where they talked about like putting a price. They had a, a much higher um, sell-through rate on their domain names, much higher uh, interaction on their domain names. Pricing helps. Now, it's interesting. I think that's one of the the... The benefits that uh, Media Options brings to the market is that we set market and realistic prices for the domain names that we market. Now, we have a, a very robust uh, valuation process that we go through. Andrew Rosner, he pioneered it, right? He's got all these like 30 or so different, different levers uh, that you can add here to get a realistic price. And um, so that's one of, the, one of the advantages, I think, that we bring to the domains that we're brokering and that we're marketing. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'd like to hear your comments down below. So if you have a comment, hey, leave it down below. Let's get a good discussion going on here, whether you think uh, you should leave a price or not, whether you think the benefits and the risks are of not giving a price, especially if you get an offer. Uh, you know, you get a good offer, an offer that uh, definitely took some work to bring to the table, that took quite a few approvals to bring to the table, and, uh, and then you don't uh, come back to them with, with the number if you think that's a good strategy or not.